So in activity B, we're now going to teach the robot positions. If you remember, in the last activity, we recorded positions. And recording means just typing the number into this position box and then hitting the record button. And what that does is that records the encoder counts of all the different motors in our robot. So what we want to do now is we want to actually teach it positions. I've opened up the program from the first activity and we're going to use this to now teach positions rather than record. Note, the program is going to be the same. It's still going to go down to here, go down and pick it up, bring it back, bring it back this way, and set it down and go home. So the program stays the same. The only thing that we're changing is the way in which we did the positions. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the teach positions dialog box and we're going to expand it. Remember, in order to expand it like this, you have to be in pro. So you have to make sure that the, the pro button's pushed here. Once you have that, you have access to these positions. And what we're going to do is, according to the activity, it says to teach these positions. Notice that when you teach, you don't have to drive the robot. You do not have to move the robot anywhere. It can stay where it is as long as we're teaching. Whereas if we record positions using this button, the record position button, that the robot has to be moved. So let's do the teaching. And it's really this easy. So for instance, uh, position 99 will always be a position that will be recorded. We hit the reset work cell button. It goes to a home position. And we'll call that 99 every time. So that's just going to be recorded but we want to teach 1, 11, 2, and 12. So that's really easy. So let's do that. Let's go to position number one, and let's say get position. By getting position, this tells you where the robot thinks that position is now from the first activity. So we want it to be 400, 0, 17.5, and a pitch of negative 90. The pitch always has to be negative 90. Um, otherwise, you'll get a positional error. Uh, Z is going to be... 17.5 and all I'm doing now is typing in uh, the positions. Once you type them in and you've got them the way you want, we're going to leave roll alone, just leave that zero, you have to click the teach button. Hitting record records where it is. We don't want to do that. We want to teach it this position. So that's position number one. So we're going to say teach it. Then we're going to go to position number 11 and we're going to teach it to be 400 get position and that's going to be 400 0 100 and negative 90 and we're going to teach and I'll go right through the rest of the list position number two get the position, don't forget that. Position number two is 300, zero, one hundred, and negative ninety. Note that's still negative ninety, it hasn't changed. So we're going to teach that one and oops, I think I did that, yeah I did, I did do that one wrong. Let's try that again. Position number two, get the position. I was looking at the chart wrong. It's very easy to change. Um, I go back into two and I see Z was supposed to be 17.5. I teach it. Now let's go get position number 12. Get the position and make that say 300, zero. And this one was the one that was supposed to be 100. And we can say teach it. So all we've done really is changed our positions by a more accurate count and what I can do now is I can say view and say positions and I can see what the positions are that I just taught it and I can see that they're absolute whether they're XYZ or joint moves and I can see the XYZ coordinates the joint numbers those are the encoder counts so we don't worry about those we just worry about the the XYZ positions in the Cartesian coordinate work plane. So we're going to close that and now let's reset our work cell and let's go back to the top and let's run the same program 
and see if it works the exact same way. So theoretically what should happen is it should pick that up and move it to a position that's back farther just like the last one did except we're guaranteed that these lines are perfectly straight now because we taught the positions using this instead of recording them using the record button. So teaching is much more accurate, it's a lot faster, um, and I think it's an easier way to go as long as you know the XYZ positions.